Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we're going to be talking about the changes found in iOS 8.4 Beta 2. So Apple released the very first beta version of iOS 8.4 to developers about a week and a half ago, and today they seeded not only iOS 8.4 Beta 2 to developers, but they also seeded the initial iOS 8.4 Public Beta 1 to anybody who was lucky enough to get signed up into that iOS public beta program. Moving on over to the changes found in this beta, we've really only got two or three tweaks to the brand new music app. The first thing I'll be showing you guys is that when you tap in the top right corner of the screen and go to the radio tab, it's actually going to show you trending searches for radio stations. You can see all these listed down below. That actually was not present in beta 1. Moving on to the next change found in 8.4 Beta 2, we've got some slightly tweaked icons down below in the tab bar. If we compare the bottom of the music app to 8.4 Beta 1 and take a look at 8.4 Beta 2 on the right, you guys can see that the tab bar icons down below are actually a little bit different. My music looks slightly different when it's not selected, playlist isn't boxed in anymore, and the radio icon doesn't have a circle around it until you're on that particular page. Now, of course, these three little UI changes are very small, but I think it's kind of cool when Apple changes small stuff like this. I don't know. I guess I'm fascinated very easily. One final note I wanted to make mention of about the music app in 8.4 Beta 2 is that it definitely, definitely feels more stable than Beta 1. Of course, I've still experienced some strange glitches and it doesn't work perfectly all the time, but some features that weren't even working in last beta work pretty good now, and I'm pretty happy with the music app in its current state. Like I said, it's not perfect, but it's definitely getting there. If you enjoyed watching this video, feel free to leave a like down below, and of course subscribe for more content related to iOS 8.4. This has been Sam with iAppDataOS, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you in the next one.